What's going on guys? So today we're reviewing the set short from 10,000. Quick disclaimer, I am an ambassador for 10,000, but they did not request nor did they pay me to make this video. I just want to share my honest thoughts and opinions on the shorts. Now the set short was the first short release from 10,000 as part of their pro line series, which is a series kind of built around more unique or specialized training. And the set short specifically was made for hybrid training on both regular land workouts and also during aquatic training, which leads me into the material. The material they went with for this short is a water repellent and fast drying material. And it's very thin and similar to the session short, but also noticeably stretchier and a little bit more durable. One thing I was really excited about when I first grabbed this pair of shorts was the waistband. The waistband to me is a major improvement from their other shorts. And in my opinion, this waistband is better than the tactical, the session, the foundation, any of them. It's a nice, durable, elastic waistband. The drawstring is on the inside, very simple, clean cut, and also sleek. Another unique thing about the set short is it has five total pockets and three of them being zippers. So you have one regular pocket on each side and within that pocket on each side you have a small zip pocket, great for keys or a credit card. And then also on the back you have one larger zip pocket. So these pockets in my opinion are really great for again, those smaller items that you want to keep very close and secure to your body, especially if you are doing aquatic training. So even when I was running, I really liked having the keys and a small zip pocket rather than a larger zip pocket because there was less clinging around and jumping around in my pocket. It was more kept close to my body. Another thing to note about these shorts is they only come in a six and a half inch inseam. So there's no option for a five or a seven. It's only six and a half. And there's also only an option for a liner with these shorts. So there's no, no liner option. You have to get the liner, you have to get a six and a half inch inseam, which to me is no big deal because one, the liner is phenomenal. And I've preached about that in all the other 10,000 videos. So if you haven't seen those, you can go ahead, click up above and watch those. But the liner is phenomenal, secure, comfortable, all of those things. And honestly, the six and a half inch seam is perfect in my opinion for both lower body workouts, running, aquatic, upper body workouts. It's kind of that perfect in between length. And the last note about the material is that it is salt water and chlorine resistant. So now let's talk about performance. How did they do in my workouts? Now we'll say upfront, I didn't put these to the test in a major way when it comes to aquatic training because I don't really train that style and I also don't really have access to an aquatic pool for training. But I also feel like most people are in that same boat. So let's talk about how they did in my weightlifting workouts and also in my runs. I absolutely love these in my weightlifting workouts, specifically my lower body days, just because they reminded me a lot of the session short because of the shorter inseam, as well as the thinner material and stretchy kind of material. And one thing where they actually beat out the session short is A, I mentioned the waistbands and better in my opinion, and also two is the pocket so I can actually hold my phone or hold my headphones or keys. It's a lot more convenient than the one zipper pocket in the session short. And because they have those pockets, because they have the longer inseam, to me they're almost the perfect all around short for both upper body, for lower body, for runs they were phenomenal because as I was starting to sweat more in them, I noticed the faster drying material and they weren't kind of sticking to me in an uncomfortable way while I was running. So overall, these have become probably my favorite short from 10,000, especially again for the all around capabilities of them. The only thing that kind of gives the set short a run for their money is the other pro line short, which is the tactical short, which if you haven't seen that review, again, I'll link it up above, but that one is like either a close second or this is a close second. Both are just a far noticeable improvement uh, compared to the core main three shorts that 10,000 has come out with. And because they are part of the pro line, these shorts do clock in at $72, which is only $4 more than the regular shorts that 10,000 sells. And to me, they're far more worth the extra $4 that you'll spend. And if you are interested in picking up these shorts, I do have a discount code to save you 15% off. And these actually just restocked in at the time of this video. So they actually, if you buy them now, will ship in one to two weeks and they sell out fast. They've already sold out the last few times they released them, so if you are interested in grabbing a pair of these, I would try and get them now. I have a link in the description, and like I said, my discount code as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have any questions about the set short at all, or any other shorts from 10,000, you can leave them in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.